Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is the part two of the LHY Audio SW6 SFP switch follow up. In your home network, you might have a streamer like the Elver Solo A6. Now, this is the master edition. It comes with Wi Fi connection and Ethernet connection. We want to focus on the hardwire Ethernet connection here. How you can integrate such a device in your audio system is the streamer has to be connected to the home network by means of connecting this device to a router. This is the typical router you may find in a typical home network system. The router connect to ISP, Internet Service Provider by WAN, WAN, and it routes the internet signal through this router and it provides Wi-Fi signal to the houses, uh, to the home devices, uh, to your mobile phone, to your laptop, to your computer. It also comes with Ethernet ports at the back of the unit, right? Uh, it is not connected. This is the dummy unit. It comes with Ethernet port here that allows you to connect the Ethernet port via Ethernet cable to the streamer or to the audio devices that in your audio system. So to integrate this, the streamer to the network is pretty straightforward. Connect the Ethernet cable to the back of the unit. Here we go. This is an Ethernet port where you may just plug in the cable here and this device will be detected by the home network through this router. Most of the router on the network is set to DHCP where the IP address of the unit of the streamer will be assigned by the router and the router can be discovered by the home network as well as devices connected to the same network. This will set you up uh, with a streamer connected to the home network. Of course, you need some other cables like the XLR cable to connect to this streamer output. Uh, this is a streamer with um, analog output. So with this, you do not need to have an external DAC, but if you want to, you can always add an external DAC to this EverSolo A6 streamer. But for simplicity, I will just connect to this XLR port at the back. This is how it looks like once the connection is up. Oh, sorry, the cable is a bit short. I can't move it here. So once you have a um, streamer connected to the home network and analog output cable connected to your amplifier system, you can have the streamer playing music Mm, right away. But that is not the subject of the video today. I want to show you how you may integrate an Ethernet switch, an audio file Ethernet switch or a high quality built Ethernet switch to the system. Um, the topic today is about SW6, so I'm not going to show you SW8 or SW10, mm, maybe later. SW6, um, oh, I did an unboxing video just a few minutes ago. It's a high quality Ethernet network switch that comes with um, isolated port, SFE port, and four unmanaged Ethernet ports at the back of the unit where you may integrate this to your audio file system. The size wise, huh, nice. This is the first time I'm, I'm stacking this SW6 on the A6. Huh, for some reason, both of them are called 6. <laughs> uh, it looks pretty good in my opinion. The size wise is just nice. Um, how you can integrate this um, with the A6 or with the streamer that you have is by unplugging this cable from the router and connect to one of the ports at the back. But there are several ports at the back. Um, before I forget, I'll need my pointer. There are several ports at the back. One of them is isolated port. This isolated port usage wise, um, it can be one way or the other. But let me explain. If you only have one single streamer in your audio file or in your audio system, you may want to connect this isolated port to the streamer right away. But if you have more than one audio equipment that require Ethernet connection in your audio system, then we will recommend this isolated port to connect to the router. Router goes to this isolated port and the rest of the ports the four ports over here can be connected to the streamer 1, streamer 2, streamer 3, streamer 4. So there are four ports here allows you to connect to multiple streamer. But again, if you only have one streamer, I would recommend you to connect the router to one of the four ports here 
and use the isolated port and connect to your streamer. So this is how I'm going to do it because I only have one single streamer in my audio system. I'm going to connect the Ethernet cable from the router to this port here, one of the... Oh, sorry, this, this cable is a bit short. I'll just use another cable that happens to be lying on the floor. Connect one of the cable... Oh, sorry. Connect the cable from the router to one of the four ports here. And this will allow the router to transmit the Ethernet signal to this switch. This is an unmanaged switch. So unmanaged switch doesn't really bother about um, layer 1, layer 2 or layer 3. So it does its job to broadcast the Ethernet signal received from the router. And we will need another Ethernet cable to connect the isolated port to the streamer. Uh, I'm going to use a shorter cable. This is the shortest that I have, 0.25 meter, from the isolated port to the port of the streamer. Right. Let me just flip it like that. Router on the grey cable, isolated port to the port of the streamer in this fashion. So this allows you to integrate the LHY SW6 in your audio system from the router to the streamer. So um, will there be audible differences in this setup? Um, you know I'm, a, I'm, I'm an honest person. Uh, switches does make a difference to high resolution and high revealing system. This is the last thing, or one of the last thing that I would recommend the customer to buy just in case you are worried about the Ethernet system or the Ethernet switches that you have. A consumer grade one might not be of high quality. There might be noise that transmit from the router to the streamer. Um, we know that router on the market like this comes with a switch mode power supply that uh, doesn't look quite good. Uh, switch mode power supply has has its advantages as well as has, has its own disadvantages. So if you are worried about the quality of the Ethernet signal coming from the router, may contaminate or may affect the sound quality of your system negatively, you might want to consider adding an Ethernet switch that is of high quality built. Be it an LHY Audio One or other manufacturer, um, the objective is about the same, to reduce the noise transmission from one end to another. Particularly for the SW6, it comes with this isolated port. It uses digital isolation transformer chip internally to isolate the noise from one end to another, where you can be pretty sure that with, its, with the help of the internal linear power supply, the quality of the Ethernet signal from the switch to the streamer sort of mitigate or reduces the noise transmission. This is one way that you can integrate the SW6 in the system. What if, if you have a high-end system and you want to explore more on the Ethernet switches or more improve the digital front-end, you may consider adding another switch like the SW6 or the SW10 to have the fiber optic connection. Let me just bring the gears uh, along. I have the SW10 with me. All I need is the SFP as well as fiber cable. It's just right here. Okay, this is um, fiber cable from a company called FS. It allows us to connect the fiber port of the SW6 or the SW10 through fiber. Again, this is a fiber cable. Um, not a lot of us um, knows about stuff like this uh, because of our background in in the engineering sector, so all these um, are pretty common to us. We've been working on uh, network networking stuff um, for a long, long time before I even uh, started with this business. So one of my colleagues is also in the same industry. Uh, two of them are also in the same industry. We are bit well versed in all this stuff. This is a fiber cable. Uh, there are two two pots here. Um, as you peel this, um, and you, as you remove the cap, you can see that uh, there's this polish connector here that allows the light of the from the SFP module, this is a FSP module, to transmit to this fiber cable. Mm. I'm not sure whether should I call it a cable, but uh, it's a fiber cable. Right, so this is the fiber cable that allows you to connect the 
SW6 SFP module from one end to another. Again, this is uh, for a customer who wants to further improve the digital front end streaming and services. Uh, this SFP module is from a company called Finisa, one of the most famous models uh, available. So if you are into networking or into audio file switches, you might have heard about this module, it's Finisa. And to connect this, this SFP to the SW6, it's pretty straightforward. Plug in the module, lock it, that's it. So it converts the SFP port of the SW6 or any other Ethernet switch that comes with SFP to a fiber port. Okay, one is not enough. We need two of this SW6 or another mod, another Ethernet switch with SFP in order to connect the fiber cable. What I'm going to do is bring out this chunky guy. This is the SW10 that we released about eight months ago. I think we released this in January 2023. So today is August 2023. Um, it was released about eight months ago. It comes with two SFP ports that allows us to connect. Ah, I gotta move things around. The table is too small. Okay, so sorry about it. So you need another SFP module for another switch in order for the fiber connection. So there are two ports here. All you need to do again is to plug in SFP to any other port, lock it. Now we have two SFP connected to two different switches and we may link the two switches with fiber connection. It's pretty straightforward again, just plug in the fiber. Hang on a second, I can't, I can't see from this angle. Oh, I really can't see from this angle. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be locking this. Should I? I yeah, I should. Yeah, for some reason, I can't see from that angle. I gotta poke it in like this. You hear a click just now. It tells us that the fiber is connected and the bottom one, click again, is connected. So the switches are connected to through this fiber cable from the SW6 to SW10. If you have something similar, a fiber media converter, uh, if you are well versed in audio file or Ethernet switcher stuff, there are some simpler module that can convert Ethernet copper to fiber that can be done as well to connect the fiber from that module to the SW6. But what I'm showing you right now is connection between SW6 and SW10 through fiber in this fashion. So with that, um, the two units are isolated completely using this fiber cable. The signal from the router can be connected to one of the units. So depending on how you manage or how you position the unit in your audio setup, I would recommend you to connect this to the isolated port of the SW6. Hang on, again, I gotta bend my head and connect this to the isolated port of the SW6 and this will allow the switch to be detected by the router in the home network. And through SW6, the router signal, the router Ethernet signal is transmitted to the SW10 by using fiber. So the switches are isolated completely by fiber. And now, how to have the streamer connected to the system? That will be coming from the SW10. Again, did I lost my Ethernet cable? Here, it's here. So from the SW10, we may connect one of the ports to the streamer via an Ethernet cable. So this is how you integrate SW6 and SW10 in your audio setup with a single streamer. In case you're wondering about the clock synchronization between the SW10 and SW6, you may uh, have to put a disclaimer. Some of the setup can have the switches in the single room. 
like this fashion where you may utilize the clock output of the SW10 to the SW6. But in a larger home setup, um, in case you want to run a very long fiber from one switch to another, for example, the SW6 is closer to the router, the SW10 is in your audio room, the fiber optic cable is going to be much longer than in this case. For example, you will run a 20 meter fiber cable from the SW6 in the router room to the SW10 in your audio room. In this case, synchronizing of the clock signal from the SW10 to the SW6 is not possible. We can't be having a 20 meter BNC cable, 75 ohms, connecting the SW10 to the SW6 clock input. But if you are fortunate enough to have the two switches in the same room in this fashion, you may synchronize the clock of the SW10 to the SW6 via and a BNC cable like this. So this is a BNC cable that allows you to connect the two devices together to synchronize the clock. Let me just spot the clock out. Ah, oh, that's, that's the in. Okay, clock out from the SW10 to the SW6. So this allows you to synchronize the higher end OCXO clock 10 MHz from the SW10 to the SW6. Does it make a difference? Again, Ethernet switches is something that is controversial. Some people say there's no audible difference between having or have not having an Ethernet switch in their system. But again, if your system is high quality, your system is high resolution and high revealing, there's nothing that you will want to do further to improve the sound quality, but you're kind of worried about the quality of the router in your system, the quality of the power supply that comes with the router, you might want to consider adding an Ethernet switch to clean up the noises. All I can say is LHY audio switches comes with built-in linear power supply that is of micro volt noise level, it's 10 to the power of minus 6, which is a very very low noise. It comes with built-in OCXO, 10 MHz to reclock the Ethernet signal. It comes with isolated port for the case of SW6. It comes with SFP fiber optic port connection that allows you to use fiber connection in your home network. That brings mm, a lot of benefit to using the LHY audio Ethernet switch. Right, it's a bit messy here, but I hope I give you an idea how you may use the SW6 and SW10 in your system. Um, if you like my video, if you like my channel, do subscribe to the video, do subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.